everyone, it's Casey. Today I wanted to make a video to show you a little bit about my new photography setup. So the first thing I want to tell you is it is um, fall here in Oregon, which means our dark days are starting. So this is the biggest challenge in this area um, because it's really difficult to find a good day to do photography because it's so dark during the day. So I do have my photography lights on right now. It's very dark outside. I don't know how well um, this video is gonna work out, but my other challenge is that I have to do videos when my son isn't home um, because he's two and he gets in the way. So we're just gonna go with it. So we'll see how the photos turn out today. So the first thing I wanna tell you is um, for my BB Babies and Friends shop, I've known for quite some time that the photography in that shop, the photos of my dolls have not been good. Part of that is because I haven't had a real good setup with good lighting and good background and all of that. So I've known for quite some time that I need to really work on that and I decided that now that we have moved and we are settled, it's really time to get a better setup. So the first thing I did was I ordered some faux wood backdrops. So the shop or the place that I got these from is called Ella Bella. You can see it there. I ordered them on Amazon and they are actually paper. So I did a lot of research into what type of backdrop I wanted to get. These types of faux wood uh, backdrops are really popular right now. I think they look really nice as well. Uh, you can find them in paper or vinyl and originally I thought the vinyl would be a better option but after reading a lot of re reviews I felt like the vinyl might take a lot more to prepare because it can get wrinkly and you have to iron it etc. And I found these and they have this four pack set for $30 which I thought was really affordable and the other thing is this paper is really long you have quite a huge roll let me see if I can turn it without getting it too wrinkled so the way I feel about it is if I roll out I only need a small piece if I roll it out and that piece ends up getting ripped or crinkled or is unusable I can just trim it off and I'll still have a whole bunch of paper left Plus, I've only opened one of them. I used it one day, and I don't think it's unusable. I'm gonna use, I'll be able to use it again without cutting the paper. So if you're careful, I think, you know, it's fine. You can roll it back up. And I still have three more that aren't even opened. So I just kind of weighed the positives and negatives. Um, I might at some point get a vinyl one, but for now I have these paper ones, and. Um, I'll show you in the video the photos that I took it with the first the first roll and you can tell me what you think I think they came out really well today I'm going to use the really light colored one though I'd like to try a different one and so I'm doing the photography setup in my kitchen um, because I need to have a space where the paper goes right up to the um, wainscoting or the not wainscoting but the border the floorboards is that what it's called I'm not sure anyway and that's really the, the, the best place with the best light that I can set this up so I'm gonna have you come and just watch me set up and then we'll take some photos and we'll see how they come out with this different paper so I hope you enjoy watching <laughs> 